Hello, can everybody hear us? Okay, they can hear us, yes. Okay. All right, very good. Welcome to today's live lesson. We have a couple of brain teasers up here on the board just to get you started this afternoon. If you would like to answer those real quickly, we will see how smart you are. So I have forests but no trees. I have lakes but no water. I have roads but no cars. What am I? What do you think? Oh, a map. Okay, we'll see if you're right on the next one. Which seven letter word contains dozens of letters? And don't Google the answers. Don't <laughs> be a cheater. Desert. Mailbox, map, mailbox, map. Okay, let's see. You were right, a map and a mailbox. Good, Good job, you guys. Oh. <laughs> they are so wow. smart. It's almost like the alphabet has eight letters. <laughs> Good job. So welcome to live lesson. Um, we have Mr. Schmidt. We have Miss Bensinger. We have Taunt. Taunt. Um, Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Hannah, and Mrs. Hill. Hi. Today. We're going to have kind of fun today. Um, we're going to play Jeopardy. Has anyone ever played Jeopardy before or do you watch it? Are you a smarty who can watch it and get the answers right on TV? I most definitely oh. am not. I am not. I like to think I am. <laughs> I probably would leave with $200. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Okay, cool. All right, so what we thought is for teams, if you are in fifth and sixth grade, you are on team one, and so you'll answer with Miss Hill, Miss Rourke, um, if she's on from home, and Miss Hannah. If you're in seventh grade, you will answer for team two, which means type in your answer in the chat box, um, along, Yay, along with you. Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Bensinger. And then if you are in eighth grade, you will type your answer in for team three with Mrs. McNinch and Mr. Schmidt. Go threes. Okay. All right, it's gonna be fun. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try and do the screen so I can um, see everything. Um, oh, they can't see the chat box? They do see the chat box. They do. Okay. Um, well, I'll try my best. Okay, so we have three teams, right? And we are going to start. So I'm going to move you, put your camera off. Guys, don't put your camera on, okay? Keep your camera off and stay muted, and then you will type your answers in the chat. Yes. Only when so, your team is answering. Yep. So if you're um, fifth and sixth grade, you're team one, seventh grade, team two, and eighth grade, team three, okay? All right. So, <laughs> team one. Is fifth and sixth grade, and so we can go first. What do we want to pick? Oh, well, we're both big English people, right? So yeah, so maybe an English. English category. How about English for 300? Fifth and sixth, Andrew. Yep, you're on team one. English for 100? 300. 300, you said? 300. Okay, and then just a reminder, we have to answer this one, right? Yes. And if we cannot, what happens? And it goes to seventh grade. Okay. All right, so seventh and eighth graders do not respond until the fifth and sixth graders are officially out. And then how does this work? Okay, and then we give you a score there. All right, so fifth and sixth grade, this is for you. What are some conjunctions? <laughs> That's hard. What are they asking? <laughs> Isn't there a school or rocks? Or Maybe it means like on? some yeah. conjunctions are also something else. <laughs> What do you think, guys? What are some conjunctions? And? Or are they asking for them? That's the thing with Jeopardy. It's so tricky. Amari thinks and. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, or. Or. 
and or but. Or but. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, and or but final answer. Is that our final answer? Sure, we'll take it from Madison. Won't I'll get it? Okay, so a conjunction is two two words like put together. I do remember. That's what I thought. Yeah. Too. Contraction <laughs> and it's. Those are contractions. Conjunction, junction. They got contractions. Oh, your function. Are we negative now? No, we got that okay. right. That's the right answer. Jeopardy answer is incorrect. Yeah. Are you like sure? Those are contractions. Yeah. Wait a second. Those are contractions. For I did will. Not, did not. I will. Will not. Will not. Conjunction would be. That's what I was thinking initially. Okay, so so can we just put our points? Yeah. Yeah. Team one Why got the keep points. Keep coming up on the bottom. I can't put my <laughs> points. Okay, and we got three hundred. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now it's seventh grade, right? Yeah. Okay. Seventh graders, what do you guys want to pick? Where do you think Let's go with the social studies. Oh, okay. math. Sure. Says math. Oh, you want to go with science? Math? <laughs> what do you want to go with? All right, let's go math 200. Whoa, where does the parameter go? Oh, it's shaded. Oh, it's shaded. I hope the Jeopardy answer is right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Or we'll just answer it. I don't know what. <laughs> What's the perimeter? Here we have four, Logan says 48. 12, we have a 12. Well, it just says the shape. It doesn't even say the shape. <laughs> hmm. Assuming since there's only two numbers. Yeah. Sure. That's the yeah. charm. It just says eight. That's what I would assume too. Okay, what do you want to go with? 48? You got a lot of 48. Okay. I said something. I'm going to say 20. Mm. Right. Well, the kids said 48. 48 is the area. Shape. 48 is the area. I was going to Oh, one person did say 28. Good job, Marissa. Should we count it? Should we count it? If they did get the right answer. The majority said 48. Do we negative them? No. Okay, let's just, yeah, we just won't. We won't do negative. No score. We're going to be nice. We're going to play nice. Okay, eighth grade. What do you guys want? Is Mrs. McNitch on? I don't see her on. All right, then um, we're going to go who and what for 100. Come on, eighth grade. Uh oh. Who and what is Hitler known for? Uh oh. Who is he known for? A deep question. Oh, Miss McNitch says she's there. Oh, I see you. That's the Holocaust. <laughs> With it. I'm gonna go with that because yeah. that's who and what. Yep, same thing. Oh, okay. That was for 100. Awesome job. All right, back to fifth and sixth. What do we want to pick? Madison, since you got that right, what would you like for our category? Andrew on science. That works for me. Science for how much? 500 <laughs> answers! <laughs> I'm scared. Ooh, what, what, is the, what is the last step to doing an experiment? So this is a good thing on the language category. <laughs> What's yeah. even funnier is I did go through these. <laughs> well, they probably produced different questions every time. No, I don't think they did. I remember the last step to doing different. an experiment. Andrew thinks conclusion. Do we agree? Share conclusion. Okay. Perfect. Woo! That's, wow, 500. Was, Andrew. We're going 500. <laughs> All right, seventh grade, what do you want? That's, are you getting the social studies for Yeah, that's great. All right, 500. Oh, <laughs> Everyone's going to be 500. I do. What is one way slaves traveled to the north where slavery was illegal? <laughs> <laughs> what did they take? Over the water. Did they take an Uber? <laughs> Uber, okay. Someone says train, but um, Jaden is sixth grade. So, so locked underground. He's, he's not sixth grade. 
<laughs> Are these seven creators? Logan, Logan Underground Railroad. You want to go with that? Logan. Underground Railroad. Yeah. Yeah. 500. 500. All right. Whoa. It was not a real train. <laughs> Underground means secret, and they would go from station to station like a train. Oh, Alex, I'm saying, 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 400. They, they did call it the Underground Railroad, right? I was. sure did. Well, that's confusing. Okay, 400 science? <laughs> for eighth grade? Is yeah. that what you guys picked? Uh, we're gonna, is Alex that, said you wanted science for 400. All right. Okay. What can happen to a food chain if a whole population dies out? Do, do, do. What do you think? And again, only answer if you're in eighth grade. Starvation. Goes out of whack. I wonder if that's the exact verbiage. <laughs> <laughs> Ecosystem is disrupted. Good answer, Cole. Go with that. We're going to, yeah, either one. The animals that the population eats will overgrow, and the animals that eat it will die out. I think that that Which would is be the same as it being the time. Good job. All right. Back to six, fifth and sixth grade. Fifth and sixth grade. Do we have any? Anyone else that wants to choose a category? Okay, Raven. Raven, what do you want to pick? Who so and we're... what? For how much? 300. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Who and what is Mao Zedong famous for? Ooh. And I, I don't know, and I had intro to China in college. I took it twice. Wow. Really I, know. <laughs> I gotta see. Oh man. <laughs> Try not to Google it. Thomas, you can't Google it if you're on a real game. game. Thomas, yeah. this is only for fifth and sixth graders. Come on, fifth and sixth graders. Do you know? I know I'm on your team, so some sort of nice team. All right, should we, should we try since we took intro to China? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to go with an emperor of the Ming Dynasty. Did you take it at OU? Yes, I did. Me too. Did you have Epstein? I did. <laughs> wow. I had to record them all. Yeah, so hard it was. Hey, back to the subject. <laughs> Oh. Hey, we didn't get a chance. Between those who benefit the social oh, world. We can never bounce no, the question. We, we, we know nothing. We know nothing. Yeah, yeah, we don't know that one. Because I knew you were wrong. Oh. <laughs> we could have stolen that question. Oh. Oh. Sorry, well, the answer. Go. Next time we got No, we have no answer. Oh. I was wrong. <laughs> Two times for our class. <laughs> 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 All right, seventh grade. <laughs> you were in mind. What do we want? Ooh, math for 500. Yikes. Math 500, seventh right. grade, team two. All right, we're doing math for 500. They can take the lead. Yikes. All right, you, Logan, oh. you better help us. Andrew, if your friend is, your friend is frozen, mm -hmm. can you hop on with your sister? Okay, so for 500, right? Okay. Better be helping, Logan. Uh, I was like, where's the question? Cover the, cover the question so they yeah. can see it. <laughs> Okay, what are the chances of getting a 100 on a 10 question test? What? <laughs> what? Keep in mind that Mrs. Hill and I did not write. <laughs> one out of 100. What is it? One out of 100? Yeah. Yeah. One out of 100. What is it? One out of 100. Are we saying we can steal or are we saying we can't steal? I guess it's a 500 point question. Whew. Just because it is 500 points, I'm thinking harder about it. I, I'm going to say one out of uh, What do we think? One out of two. What grade was this one? I forget. Seven. Okay, seventh graders. We have 10 out of 10. Jaden Hay, only answer for sixth grade. Oh, yeah. Logan says one out of 100. We got top 10 over 10. Cole says 
five over ten. I think your most popular guess is one out of one. Ten question <laughs> test. <laughs> what did you say? One out of ten. Yeah, sure. Oh, Depends if you studied or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> subject. <laughs> 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 Mrs. McNidge, we need points. What do you want to do? I think she likes social studies. Yeah, Mrs. McNidge is a social studies major, right? She's excellent at math tutoring, so. <laughs> I was being serious. <laughs> you think I'm joking? <laughs> Mr. Schmidt likes social studies also. Okay, she said math 400. Okay. Right. See? What is the mean of the set? Oh, 3, 6, 14, 17, 43, and 71. 10 seconds. Get out that calculator. Get out that pencil and paper. My husband can do this in the tent. He's driving me crazy. I'm going to gift Miss James her tent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is it safe? Yeah. Okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay. You don't have to do it mentally. We can try it on paper or the calculator. Thank All right. Hold out the answer. Okay. So what are you gonna go with eighth grade? Thank oh, God. Cole's wrong. You forgot the hundredth place. Sorry. Oh, yeah, right. first place. <laughs> Just kidding, Cole. Right. Nice job. Back to fifth and sixth grade. What do we want? Way to go, Cole. Um, let's go with English for. 500 unless somebody else. Ma oh, Madison wants math. Okay. Madison. Math. Math. What do we have left? 300. Is that good with you, Madison? Yes. What did you say? 300? Yes. The area of a figure with a length of 12 and a width of 4. Now, it's when you want to answer that you put before. Any guesses? Want to go with 48? All right. Hey, Kara. <laughs> oh, was that <laughs> even? All right. Well, Madison got it. I'll Sorry. take the point. Madison got it. Okay. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. What do we want? And what? For oh, okay. And what is Gandhi famous for? Okay. What do you guys got, seventh grade? Gandhi. Going out of fast. Eighth grade, you keep thinking while they are <laughs> writing their answers. This is seventh grade only. Don't help them. We can steal Just and me. take the lead. Don't answer yet. Okay. We go the uh, Indian Independence Corps. What do you want to go with? Yeah. I would one? say, yep. That one? Okay. Do, yep. And then violent. Yep. Yeah. Good job. You got it. Perfect. Okay. He inspired Martin Luther King Jr. for the nonviolence in protesting. Ooh. Okay, we have eighth grade, right? Is Alex trying eighth grade? Science 300. How many times should you do an experiment? How many times should you do an experiment? <laughs> I did find this online and it, it was cute and I, I did go through it, but I guess I just thought, whatever. Unless they're all mixed up and showing up different ones. Until you get it correct. <laughs> three. Um, Want to say three? How do you know if it's correct? <laughs> do you want to go with three? Okay. Well, I think they're saying <laughs> three you know, times. What do you think? You, um, Let's I like three. until you get it right. Uh -huh. Oh, do you guys want to go with until you get it right, or do you want to go with three <laughs> times? It's up to you. Either one. Okay. 
Which one? Three times. I least. think you have more three times. Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness! I want to give you that one. It's oh. <laughs> funny. I think it's cute because it's kid made. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fifth and sixth grade, right? Yeah. Okay. We need what points. What do you want to do? Well, you need points. Are we both English <laughs> yeah. Should we do English for five? Yeah. English for five. Okay. What are you calling you this for? Risk it all. <laughs> That's a smile face. <laughs> 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 <Caleb. laughs> time. <laughs> I like it. It is time. Oh, that's it's awesome. Don't miss. Sarah, you are seven and eight grade. Oh, these are all. Yeah, the, the column is English. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 I know it. You silly goose, Amari. You're not wrong. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> but the category would have to be science. It's used oh. for the two eyeballs. Raven thinks, in, um, a picture yes. <laughs> Raven thinks Colin is used for making a list. That is correct. Oh. Is Raven in that grade? To announce, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Introduce or direct attention to a list or to join sentences. Good job. But ratios and time are also correct. What do you think I said? Oh. Yeah. All right, seventh graders, what do you want? Uh, what do we want, seventh? We need some help here. Math for 100. If Jess has four decks of trading cards, each with 20 cards, how many cards does Jess have in total? Four hundred eighty. No. Got a lot of eighty. Yep. We're good. Eighty. Yep. Let's go eighty. Eighty. Good job, good job guys. Good. Tied for the lead. Eighth we need grade. one of these four hundreds to make it a three-way tie. What do you want, eighth grade? I want English for four. Oh, what is the longest word in the world? I don't know. Try not to Google. Word. I'll be sad if you Google. Really? It's going to take him a half hour to type it. Yes. Okay, so 
Did we put part time finding jobs, getting for no. sicknesses? <sighs> no, we, no, we kind of put other things. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to give it to us. No, 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 I think we're a little off on that. Yeah. All right. Okay, seventh grade. Do we want to do uh, who and what from four or social studies from three? Who and what? Oh, Albert Einstein. All right, what was he famous for? Let's go seventh graders. You got this. The light bulb, okay. What else do we have? Come to next week's live lesson. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, we, we aren't stealing answers this time, but maybe next time we play, we will. Okay. Finding out E equals MC squared. Ah. Okay, you want to go with that? Theory of relativity. All right. Look at that. Inventions. All right. Oh, oh it gets oh, my oh, you guys get it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's got to be word for word, right? <laughs> uh, we're oh, going to go God. social studies so, for 300. Wait, so you get points? No, no I gave you the points. Oh, you. I gave it to the um, You gave it to them. them. You gave it to us. <laughs> 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 the season of giving. Social right. studies, 300. It's one communist country. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you want to go with Russia? Okay. No? Uh, that's all you get. That's all we get. Okay. All right. China. China. However, Jimbo, is Russia? Venezuela. No. Okay. <laughs> Venezuela is? Or they were guessing that. Is Venezuela correct? I'm pretty sure. Think so? All right. What grade are we on now? Six. Fifth and sixth. Fifth and sixth grade. What do you guys want? Fifth and sixth graders? Jaden, Madison, Raven, what do you want? Andrew? Science 200. 200. What is passed down to your child? <laughs> Sorry about the spelling. I did not make it. The kid made it. What is passed down to your child? <laughs> this is kind this of thing you're looking for. <laughs> like a vocab. But, it's but, it's not, but science. Think like this is the definition. <laughs> what would be okay, eye color? Traits. Traits. Okay, let's go with that. Heredity and genes. Same thing? Yes. 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 All right. Pretty. Okay, All right. seventh grade. Heirlooms. All right, so. Not wrong. Yeah. Pictures. <laughs> All right, what do we want? Uh, seventh seven grade. grade. What do we want? Who and what? what? All right, we'll try who and what for 200. What and who? Who is 200? What is that? Who is that person? I don't know. Uh, well, it must be a person. <laughs> Maybe it's else. an animal. I don't know. All right, let's go. Seventh grade, you can figure this out. Eat a lovely. I think you should make your teachers answer this one. Let's go. Give them a silent treatment, see if they can do it. <laughs> a mathematician, Let's go with literature. What do you want to go with? Mathematician. Daughter of a poet. Math! A math tutor! All right, good job, Jewel. Good job. But she didn't say it twice, like the answer. <laughs> okay. What is wow? Can I remember what grade we're on for the late baby? Cole, okay. Cole, pick a subject for us. English for two. <laughs> what are some ways to use an apostrophe in an S? Separately. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your assignment is to make Jeopardy questions, so don't judge this kid's one, right? Because I don't know how yours is made along. Plural. Oh, plural. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay, plural. Plural. Uh, Let's see. oh. <laughs> what? That counts. You guys are right. Yeah. You use it as no, to make a, a plural. No, not an apostrophe S. That's no, but just but S be <laughs> one of them. Sorry, it was ownership. <laughs> Right. Apostrophe S is either for a contraction with the word <laughs> is, or it's for possessive. Singular possessive is apostrophe S, and plural possessive is S apostrophe. You guys are having as much fun as we are. We are laughing our heads off. 
All right, we're gonna go social studies 200. Okay, so this Wait is about the kids pick, Mrs. What, what, what is, is the nine? This is about the day, I'm sure, because social studies. Okay, so you guys should know about this. I taught this lesson. <laughs> what is Mercy, I. Alex, all right. Yep, you got it. Good job. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Wait a minute, should we get? Should we get past up then? I think that I gave the points to eighth oh. grade instead. Okay. All right. Social studies for a hundred. Isn't it eighth grade? It's eighth grade. Yeah. She just accidentally gave it. Oh. Do you guys know? How do you say that? Uh, Autocracy. Go for it, eighth graders. What is it? Eighth grade question. What is autocracy? If you use the internet, we won't know. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and Google eighth grade. It's eighth grade right now. Government by one Go person. One, one government. government. Yep. Probably or just home. Sounds like what? Sounds good. All right, now we're back to fifth and sixth. Yep. Okay. You want science or English? Oh, English. Korean. Oh, oh <laughs> this is 100? Come on. <laughs> what is this semicolon you used for? Winky face. <laughs> no way. A comma, but more. So it means something is coming next, or what? <laughs> or what? <laughs> what are you trying to say? You can get the fifth and sixth grade. We know you got it. Why would you put a semicolon in the sentence? Join independent clauses. So mm -hmm. those things in a sentence, separating definitions. I like it, I like it, I like it. What do we want to go with? All the above. All things. those, yeah. They're all different. They got it right. Uh -huh. Separate items in the list. Good job. Some of them already contain over to join too. Okay. <coughs> all right, last one. I think seventh grade is going to go with science for 100. <laughs> What's the first step to an experiment? Do it until you get it right. <laughs> 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 Hypothesis question. Okay. Ask the question. Good job. I wish that quit popping up. I cannot award you the points. Okay. There we go. Good job. So. What a game. Good job, everyone. Everything's done. Yes. And I so noticed how some people complimented other people's yeah. answers. That's that's great. Nice. Did a great job. Nice teamwork. Thank nice you. Participation. Yeah. Thank you for so participating. Great it, but. Everyone else wasn't too far behind, so awesome job, you guys. Was it fun? Kind of silly, but fun still. Minus the grammatical <laughs> errors. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, we just wanted to give you a quick reminder to RSVP to the middle school lock-in if you are, well, actually, I was going to say local, but we have some kids driving for four hours oh. to come here. All right. So, it's pretty awesome. Um, that is on Tuesday, okay? from nine to three. We have had a lot of um, students say that their parents want to come, but it is just for students. So if you live far, your parent can maybe like spend the day shopping or go to Lunch, Starbucks, yeah. chill out, yeah. take a nap in the car. <laughs> um, but we just can't have uh, parents joining. Okay, guys? There's not enough room. Yeah, we love them, but we don't have enough room. So do you have any questions about that day? If you need to ask something that you can't ask here, you can ask your teacher. If you need the link, um, no, you do not have to go. It's um, yep, if you not want to or required. if you're able to, we'd love to have you. And it's getting kind of late, so if you are coming, please let us know as soon as possible. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Oh, the quote of the week, Katy Perry. I love her. Find out what your gift is and nurture it. Okay, do you guys have any questions or anything? Okay, your assignment. You get to make your own Jeopardy, only you do not have to put it in the form of a Jeopardy board. You can just put it in a Word document. You're gonna come up with at least 10 of your own Jeopardy questions, and your categories are math, English, science, social studies, and miscellaneous. So your um, questions for the math, English, science, and social studies must come from your Adventum work. 
The miscellaneous can be any school appropriate question. So it might be something you know that you find interesting or you know a certain if you want it, all of them to be health related or all be sports related, that's okay too. And then you must assign a point value to your questions and provide the answer. So if it's a harder question, you're going to want to assign more points and if it's an easier one, less points. You'll just type it up in a Word document and upload it to the Dropbox and Edmentum. And we did put an example there for you for second grade science for 200. What does Roy G. Biv stand for? And then we provided our answer, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, the colors of the rainbow. Okay, so all in a Word document. Yes. Do they have to have a minimum in any category? Like two English? Well, sorry, yes, that, good question. So there's five categories. You should have two for each category. If you want to do more, you can do more. Um, if they're really, really good, maybe we'll even put a Jeopardy board together yeah. for you with a mix of your, some of your own questions and your classmates' questions. Colin, you can just watch the recording because it's basically over. Sorry. Sorry if you just got here. Okay, anything else? Good. So that link will be in the in their Edmentum message about this mm -hmm. lesson so they can yeah. make a reservation to be here for the lock-in. Yes. You if you don't make a reservation, we won't have food for you. We won't be expecting you. So be sure you follow through on that document. You can always ask your teachers for help. We're always willing to help. Hey guys, is that it? All right, we hope you have a good day and we will see you later.